Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm Matt and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily use sub outputs for drum tracks. So to make each uh, part of the drum kit editable and apply effects to each individual drum or cymbal, whatever you like. Uh, as in logic, it's nice and easy, so let's get going. Okay, so we are in logic and we're going to use sub outputs to change the sounds of individual drums for a drum pattern. Now, it is one technique, but I'm going to show you a few different ways because in each drum plugin or instrument, it's slight, it's in a slightly different place. So I'm going to show you a few different, um, a few different drum plugins and um, yeah, the slight variations of each. So to begin with, we've got this uh, nice little MIDI drum loop. No pattern, quite standard using a logic, using a logic drum kit. Uh, okay, so we are going to start off with a really popular one, Easy Drummer by Toon Track. So you find it in your, your instruments, Toon Track, Easy Drummer, and we want multi output. That's quite important. For some reason, I when I'm on autopilot, I always go to stereo, but multi-output, otherwise, it's just not going to work. Quite important. So, straight off the bat, that's how Easy Drummer sounds. It's quite cool. And we are going to also go up to View, go down to Shape Mixer. So we are working on this track here. That's our easy drummer. Make sure you notice along here, these are all one at the moment. They're all being sent to this one track. So let's just say for now we want to play around with the settings of kick and snare. Just keep it simple, kick and snare. I'm going to change this little orange drop down to two and the snare is going to be on three. Still with me so far, cool. And the most important thing is to come down to here, it's quite small. Uh, if you're not seeing this plus and minus down here, um, it's probably because you've gone to stereo version of the instrument rather than sub output or multi-output. Uh, so yeah, we need to click on plus a couple of times, um, depending on how many extra outputs you're adding. You just, in theory, could just keep on adding them. But we only need two, one for snare, one for kick. So now when we play the pattern, these are doing their thing. So that's the kick. That's the snare. Now when we add in our effects, let's just add in a reverb. It's oh how it's going pretty pretty crazy. It's only on the it's only on the snare. Kick, we might want to put in a little sub kick. And you can just keep on playing with it like that. And also from here, you can do your panning if you really want to. Sure, why you'd want to do that, but you can. And that's that for Easy Drummer. So we can. Um, what drum sound? Drum sound should we go on next? Let's go to Classic uh, Roland Cloud TR808. Again, multi output, very important. Take 
So it's gonna sound oh, same pattern. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, and here um, it's a little bit hidden, but it's an option. And down to sub output. Sometimes it's called sub output, sometimes it's called multi output, depending on again what you're using. Similar idea. Bass and snare. If you wanted to do all the others, you can click on the others. But just for ease today, I'm just going to do those two. And then same idea again, just plus, plus. And then we've got our kick and our snare. Reverb. Nice big reverb on the snare. Cool. Cool. So, um, probably the last one I'm going to show you is one of my favorite uh, drum plugins, drum instruments. It's uh, called Love Fi Rhythm. It's by Quiet Music. Uh, really good for this uh, lo fi chill sound. And same idea again here on this one it's not really marked up but we want the kick to go to two and the snare to go to three and that's that nice and easy um it's worth pointing out of course that if you do prefer to use uh, buses, um, this is how, also how you do that. So if you wanted to send the snare to to bus, you'd select it there as if it was its own instrument or its own plugin. Um, so yeah, that's how you, oh, oh. that is how you do that. Send it to the bus from there. And that just affects that one snare or kick or whatever it is that you're working with. Okay. I hope this has been useful, hope this has been fun, and I'll see you again soon. Cheerio!